Uh, uh, thank you, Michael. And uh, Lorenzo was exactly articulating uh, the issue. It's a little bit ironic is that uh, uh, Paris Agreement with NDC is a great achievement, but at the same time, it inadvertently put a carbon voluntary emission credit with the nationality. They should not have, because this is really a global issue. It's a global effort to tackle it, but NDC made it as a national ownership. But we actually created the system uh, uh, with the uh, uh, initial testing on the China side to utilize carbon registry and the blockchain technology. So that's actually very powerful. I'll start from uh, uh, the first batch, how it worked. It really is a central SOE developed a wind project in China's Winter Olympics city in China uh, that is going to go up uh, for Winter Olympics soon. And uh, then going through the whole uh, certification process to become uh, a China's voluntary emission reduction. Remember, we're talking about a voluntary emission reduction. We're not talking about allowance market. So such a voluntary emission reduction is recorded on China's national voluntary emission reduction registry. And then here is the registry becomes extremely important. It is a core place to avoid a double counting uh, in the whole system. China has developed such infrastructure, but uh, for those countries, actually there are a fair amount of countries do not have the national voluntary emission reduction registry yet. And I think the World Bank's efforts and some other private sector solution also plays an important role. And then when you have this voluntary emission reduction registered in China's carbon registry, we worked with uh, the local uh, voluntary emission uh, uh, state-owned uh, exchange uh, so that such a voluntary emission reduction is uh, frozen in China's carbon registry. By freezing means that this, this carbon voluntary emission reduction was a real one, was registered in China's system, but is not utilized for other commercial trading or other uh, voluntary net zero activity in China anymore. So this is a critical point number one. Point number two is uh, blockchain technology and then in the format of uh, similar to American depository receipt or what we call a digital depository receipt, um, combine, in combination, put these assets, which is uh, essentially a voluntary emission reduction, stays in China's registry, and then put that as underlying assets and, uh, in depository, and then issue a digital uh, receipt uh, on CTX, which uh, uh, we are a licensed platform uh, in Singapore, uh, regulated by Monetary Authority of Singapore. And then the Singapore government is just uh, fantastic in terms of being proactive, progressive on the digital space. So we issued this uh, digital token, uh, what we call a carbon neutrality token, and every one token is corresponding to one ton of a carbon emission, voluntary emission reduction credit in, from China that was certified by qualified entity that was registered and frozen on China's carbon registry. Now, we sold this to the international community. And then when the international community, whichever corporate, for example, a Swiss, or a Swiss company, bought this token and then used that to do a voluntary net zero uh, effort for their carbon footprint over their office building, for example, that creates from the global perspective, it really is an offsetting global, uh, globally you know, neutralization efforts uh, for their voluntary carbon footprint. So this way that we can help uh, globally to achieve uh, the net zero efforts on a voluntary basis, but at the same time do not uh, create issue uh, for the NDC uh, as we speak for today. So uh, we rolled out these uh, efforts over the past uh, uh, two months and it has been quite interesting to see various people come to us to say, hey, this is very interesting. And then uh, uh, we wanted to do it. And then historically, we did not have ways to do it. Now you build the whole system with a national registry and then with the, the digital technology blockchain to keep track of everything and then to safeguard the integrity. We're hoping this technology can bring scale uh, to solve the problem Lorenzo articulated so well. Yeah, no, Bo, that, that's brilliant. And it brings up a couple key issues. One is, is when Christine was talking about, you know, the importance of a just transition and to make sure that emerging markets get covered. This unlocks 
their opportunity to both get the credit for it, but also be able to help others with it, which is quite impressive. The integrity issue around blockchain, as Dr. Ma pointed out, is absolutely critical as well, and it helps capture that. 